Sky Shed al fresco. Um, so, a little update. Sorry, I haven't posted a video for ages. But literally, I was waiting for this lot to turn up. I'm going for the uh, ratty, matte black Mad Max look. I think uh, you'll agree that's it's the best look for this bike. No, I'm joking. So, now these have been painted black. They've all been flattened off, sort of, you know, somewhere near. But the object of today is to get all the green and all the decals on it that need to go on it. And the tank decals, the fairing decals, and then pinstripe where the green is on the fairing. So that's the task for today. So once all that's done, it can go back and be, uh, all the green can be sprayed. Um, then we've got a couple more decals to put on. Then it'll be flattened off again, and then it'll all be lacquered. And I know the original bike weren't lacquered over the top of the decals, but I really like the look of that, and it's my bike, and I do what I like to it. So. so let's crack on. So for reference, I've got the old tank, which has seen quite much better days. But what it does show me is that this is a decal. This is not painted. So um, I took some measurements of that and had some cut. And this is one of those. It hasn't got a top sheet on it, so I'm gonna have to wing it a bit. But what I've, because I've got the original tail, I can take some measurements from it. So what I've done, just roughly, is sort of measure where the, where the top line of that is, which is about four and a quarter inches in old money. And then the other point of reference I sort of took from this corner up to the top of the sticker, that's about well, just over, or just under eight inches. Like. So all I've done is I've transferred those measurements using a little bit of masking tape. You know, so that's sort of eight. And to that edge is four and a quarter. So that gives me a rough placement for where that tank deck was going. And there's some magic, magic like unicorn tears. You have to get them like fresh, otherwise they don't work. Mm. No, it's literally just water with a little bit of fairy washing up liquid in it. Other brands can be used. No, no I won't talk about that. Everybody's a bit hysterical at the moment. So I can just get that somewhere near, like that, and to get this front edge in, I need to get a little bit of heat. Okay, so I'm putting this one on first, and that's the, the reason why you put soapy water on, is so you can move it around a little bit. I'm happy that it's somewhere near it to take that off. That one's all right. I'll give you a squeegee and just... I'm no expert at putting decals on, but the only thing I can tell you is just take your time with it. Don't rush it. And what you want to do is just try and push the water out from underneath and it makes the adhesive stick. Use anything you like. This is a little silicon squeegee. So once you get the water out from behind it, I had loads of these cuts. So if I mess it up, I'll just put them up in there. Right, so now the front, I just need to give that a little bit of heat with a hot air gun just to get that to stick. So now we're going to do one here on the front. So yeah, this bit is a decal on the original bike. So like I say, sometimes you can have these with a backing sheet. Let's 
quite tight around this headline. So really just concentrate on getting that. pinstriping tape. So what I'm going to try and do is be on the other side, on the black side, of where this green line should be. So, so what we're trying to, I mean I've got a great picture, but we can see it goes sort of just above the indicator and then in line with the tank. that one down there and that ends literally right on that joint so we start off Mil, so I'd say they're pretty much the same. The thing is, you can't look at both sides of the bike at the same time, so it comes from there. The same place. Sort of runs parallel all the way up. So to get that right, we know it starts here, right in that corner, and comes up to there. But this is all parallel. a bit
we've got some guidance lines. There's a big Kawasaki decal somewhere. To the frame decals. Alright, so we'll bang these on now because I like putting stickers on. So that's what I mean by some of them have the backing off. And every cow one I've seen has always had these on the piss, and I don't know why. But I'm not going to put these on. So, again, those go up near the headstock. Yeah, everyone I've seen, that one's always like that. <laughs> um, I'll put some walk. Okay, and I can see my centre, which is about in line with that A. Eh? Okay. Individual letters. That's why it's on the back of the top. Oh, I'll give it a. I know it's not crazy. So that is the back. That's the right. so that's that side. Because we have the original tank. So that is a prop. So I actually go to the top. So it's 75 mil. On that top line there, so we'll get a little mask on top. Okay. So. Be leaving, be careful when you peel the back off. So I just want to make sure that's about right.
So it's, it's on the bottom fairing and that eye looks like it's almost on that join line there and the K starts just after there so and it's just above that vent so it gives me two good points of reference. So. We'll go take them into it. Have a look. It just seem to be a bit too much work with a bit of soap on it. Hello doggo. Go. Left or go. Right. So all the decals are on. So that can go back to Bob the painter now, and they can do all the green stuff. And then we can put the last couple of decals on as a little e-box frame once to go on. Then you can lacquer it, and then I can have it back, hopefully in a couple of weeks. So, thanks for watching. Um, I know the world's a bit mental at the moment, um, so I'm, hopefully I'm going to put a bit more content up, just to keep people busy. You know, something to look at on the internet. Um, that ain't rolling news coverage of the same thing. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll see you fairly soon. I'm going to do a video on them in cans on the exhaust pipes soon, so they need um, sorting out, so that's, that's probably the next video. So please like and subscribe. Um, thanks for watching.